Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Redan. So today I'm going to be uploading a video from my original channel, and of course I'll give a shout out for my second channel. I'll post a link down below for my second channel in the description box below. We have the link for my second channel and also Elfus as well. If you want to see some video games, really stuff. So okay, a quick thing is that, I mean yes, I haven't spoken about pregnancy type videos for a good while but with that out the way I will, I will get to in just a moment but I just want to say that I know I haven't done one of these types of videos in a good moment which seem, which might seem kind of odd because I've talked about pregnancy quite often before fairly frequently and I would do that here so I kind of want to return to this kind of topic here since I again I brought it several times before many times before actually but just for real quick this of course is going to be in regards to Pop, Pop Francis because he was trying to do something with the blessing of same-sex couples even though despite the fact that this comes off like shallow kind of thing but he, while some people while on the surface it may seem like okay he's accepting gay people he wants to give them blessing and that seems nice on the church and the wedding or whatever but but there are restrictions. So once the more you look into that, the more nonsensical it seems because of the fact that he wants to bless them as individuals, but not bless them as a relationship. Which uh, it just sounds really cryptic when you think about it because it is. But I'll, I'll get to the main topic at hand in just a moment. But I'm just trying to bring this up just to put my catch up to speed to put my go on to the other thing I want to mention a moment ago. So just bear with me here. Is that Pope Francis said he wanted to bless gay marriage? Okay, not really the marriage itself, but the individuals. So it's like that's like he doesn't mean anything in some ways. Some people might be thinking like, oh, it's a great move and whatnot. But on a surface level, it means see, it may seem like oh, it's fantastic. But he just gave him a little, little teeny tiny itty bitty bit of something. To feel better well you know you realize like what if that there are gay christians and these gay christians want to be accepted to their church this may seem like them would be found accepted but the problem here like i was saying is that it's limited it's limited what they can be actually do within the church itself there has to be specifications for this to actually occur which makes no sense like at all so it's like well so much of progress why do you have to be super specific when it comes to whether it's a lesbian couple or gay couple, or maybe one of them's gay and one's bi, or both of them are bi, so it just seems like what the hell? So it seems awfully confusing. This makes no no damn sense whatsoever because it doesn't, like at all. I mean, I'm not saying you have to get married because I I believe marriage is kind of a sham if you ask me, but that's just me though. Then again, I had eight marriages, so what do I know, right? So anyway, the thing is that. It just seems like he just wants, it's just another form of control. Him and other people like this, it, it just seems like another form of control. And that's basically what this is. It's just a form of control, really, when you think about it. So anyway, just going back to the topic of hand here, with the whole pregnancy thing I was saying is that, yes, he wants to put him as ban on surrogacy, marry, uh, pregnancy, being a surrogate mother. Yeah, he thinks... He wants to have a ban of surrogate mother. It was just basically just an arrangement where some can give birth to some other individual child, which, yes, I spoke about this kind of thing before, obviously. So, surrogacy is basically, like I was saying, it's just this agreement, of course, often supported by this legal agreement, whereas one woman agrees to put him a deliver having this labor on the behalf of another couple or person who will of course become the child's parents who have to birth kind of thing so people may seek this kind of a thing kind of arrangement when a couple does not wish to carry the pregnancy themselves or maybe they're unable to do so maybe maybe it's mentally impossible or what have you or maybe there's uh maybe pregnancy risks are involved somehow there would be dangerous for the intended mother or maybe even there's a single man or maybe a 
male same sex couple kind of thing that may wish for the child, which of course I did speak about before. Maybe there's a gay couple who wants the child, but they can't obviously give birth, obviously, but whatnot. So again, there was many things that could potentially get in the way, is what I'm getting at. There's mainly there's many things that could potentially get in the way. Or maybe the woman can't give birth for whatever reason. Or maybe her husband or boyfriend can't impregnate her for whatever reason. Again, there's like a number of different things that could get in the way. Pop Francis may have made some kind of news when it comes to blessing the same-sex individuals. And which is not really all that crapped up to be when you think about it. When it comes to the leader of the Catholic Church... But his latest comments when it comes to surrogacy are, let's say, are bringing in some, a lot of criticisms. And it just also seems, like I was saying earlier, this seems unnecessarily restrictive. So, been really restrictive, like I was saying before. So, it's just basically the same kind of a thing when you think about it. So, in, in, in other news, is that it seems like controlling. The same thing I just said a moment ago. Anyway, going back to the topic at hand, is that. He said that certainly this kind of thing turns children into an, an object of human trafficking, which is a lie. That's like a big claim to make. That's that doesn't make any sense, like at all. That seems really weird. I hear the word in such in such a way. That seems odd. But anyway, but I was trying to get as this, this seems weird if you ask me. Calling for a war view ban on the practice. So Prince, uh, uh, this this pop guy, Pop Francis, added that the surrogate see was disposable, is despicable according to him, is and of course uh, according to him, this basically represents a grave violation of the of the what it means to be a woman, whatever that means, and the child based on the idea of it's been exploited of situations of the mother's. Material need needs like what? Seems so absurd that he would think this kind of a thing. This seems that makes no sense whatsoever, like at all. Like okay, that's a very narrow-minded point of view that he had made here you know, for, of course. But what's the thing that's kind of weird anyway is that this kind of thing has been around for ages anyway. This kind of thing has been around for like forever. So I don't understand why he seems to have like an issue with this now. Like why do you why do you want to complain about this now? This has this kind of practice has been around for ages. So why is that you have an issue with this now? I I don't get it really. I don't know. I just think it's weird. That's all. I just think it's kind of odd that you have this kind of perspective, like something that's bad for whatever reason. But how is it bad though? I'm not saying everyone should do it. Okay, I'm not saying everyone should do it. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. It just depends on the individual. It depends on who is doing what. And, again, if you don't want to do this, that's fine. Nobody should be made to do anything. So I'm getting, nobody should be forced to do anything. If you don't want to do it, then you don't want to do it. That's fine. I just think that that doesn't mean you should restrict someone else from doing it. That just doesn't make any sense like, at all. But, of course, this kind of thing is going to be a thing. Because the, a lot of the Christians, I guess in this case Catholics, are, are of course, going to be really... Controlling. You can't do this. You can't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't go up. Don't go down. Don't. I just like. That's all I'm hearing. You just can't. 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 That's all I'm hearing here. When it comes to these religious people. I mean, yes, obviously, when it comes to Catholics, of course, they are known for being really strict, which is true, and they they are known for this kind of a behavior anyway to begin with. That's true. But again, why do you have an issue with this now? Why haven't you heard? To this kind of thing before, I have no idea. But yeah, he just thinks that this kind of a thing is just bizarre to him. It's just weird that somebody would continue this kind of a thing. And of course, he's living up to the stereotype that religious people are really judgmental. I mean, they are, at least for the most part. They really seem to be really judgmental. He has this, of course, his comments, but of course, that. I guess bothered a lot of people because he, like I was saying earlier, he did receive a lot of criticism for this kind of thing, and rightfully so. Of course, this ended up, ended up creating a lot of controversy among people who are both for and against this practice, I guess. 
So it's like Holly Animals agreeing with him, I suppose. As far as I'm concerned, it depends on the division. It depends if you really want to do this kind of thing. It's really up to you, really. I'm the thing about it. But, like, who is he to judge anyway? I don't get that. Who is he to say this kind of a thing to begin with? I mean, I, I, I can go to everybody's household and make sure they're not doing anything bad. I don't get it. Well, you can be really weird about it. You can be hella sneaky and trying to see who's doing what it really. I don't get this shit. It's, it's fucking stupid. I just think it's kind of bizarre that he would make this kind of a thing, I think. That's what, that's something I really don't understand, really. Why why does a lot of these religious is, individuals just want to make a thing like this? Why do you want to control everybody? And that's how it comes out. Like, every religious person seems to want to control a lot of people. Like, do you of all people? What do you of all people care about this? I don't know. You just live to a stereotype that these religious people just wants to do, deem this kind of thing bad. His characterization of this kind of practice is just is not the truth. He, he's lying right here. He's clearly lying about this kind of thing. Because what he's saying, he's just, he's just downright disrespectful towards women. And, okay, so what if they want to do this kind of thing? So what if there's a woman or women who, who want to do this? So what? Like, is that's your business? That's what, wait, why you bother people like this? I don't get it. It's a special privilege for a relationship or some individual who wants a kid. It just want, this is definitely one way to help people out. I, I just don't understand as to how he thinks this is a bad thing, really. So, I don't get it. I don't get this at whatsoever. So, of course, the people who are, would, of course, make a living out of this, like the, those like some hospitals kind of a thing, well, of course, we'll call him that like, he's been disrespectful. He's been weird. And people just make comments in that that they believe that it's so brave for a parent to trust someone else to care with their child for them. And yes, it's a pretty unique experience for said individuals that are involved. And people just go on to say that, that they don't think that anybody who hasn't been through it can really fathom this. And they would be right. It's not he ever went to witness this kind of thing. It's not... Like, he went to, had this kind of experience. So, who is he to judge, really? It's not like he went through this kind of situation, of course. And, yeah, he just goes on pop franchise because it causes this kind of thing, this kind of practice, the basis for commercial contract, whatever that means. So, this, of course, is a criticism towards the practice itself because, according to him, exploits people's, financially speaking, so exploiting them financially. Again, whatever that means. It's like they're trying to make like the hospitals, the clinics, whoever's doing this, they just want to take money from them, to exploit them some kind of way. Like, what are you talking about, your mate? This makes no sense. But of course, there's going to be people who will push back against his comments, obviously, saying that this kind of practice was intended to constipate someone for the time and effort. And of course, the sacrifice and the struggle for being a for being you know pregnant, which is true. And if someone's going to do this for someone else, yeah, they should be paid for it, I guess. And the hospital should also be paid for it as well. No one should be forced to do this for free. At least, at least I don't think so anyway. And that's another thing, of course. No, you shouldn't be forced to do anything, of course, for free. That's another subject I want to bring up a moment ago. You can't just do this service for somebody and expect nothing from it. And not get no money, like at all. And just I just don't understand a lot of this kind of thing, of course. Yes, of course, the Catholic Church has, of course, has their own traditions, of course. I mean, I'm not going to say that this was the only time that the Catholic Church made this kind of thing comments before, because they, of course, they did. But why are you making a big, a, more of a hub up now? Why just just keep quiet and keep your comments to yourself? And of course, they're going to use religious law you know, as to their advantage. But Pope Francis appears to be taking a stance against because apparently this violates human rights somehow, which seems weird. But he uh, he is failing to recognize that how valid this can actually be. This can be a good experience for a lot of people, for the intended parents. The, the surrogate parents can be a good people, of course, obviously, and can actually help children. And that's another thing I don't understand anyway, is that according to their belief system, they, okay, this goes for like literally any religious person, okay, this goes for any religious person, obviously, is that 
the vast majority of them would just agree that to be fruitful and multiply. Is that the thing anyway? Be fruitful and multiply? Isn't that what they want? So don't you think this could be like an extension of that? To be fruitful and multiply? A, a one woman typically give, gives birth after what? Nine months or whatever? Typically, you know, unless you unless you have to do a C-section. But anyway, that's the thing. So what what is what is the husband or boyfriend supposed to be doing during those nine months? Well, he creates those the baby juice. When you think about it, the semen will die after a day or anyway. So his body will create that semen every single day. I mean, there's also the you know hermaphrodite women and of course the pre-op transsexual women. Those who decide to keep their you know not not do the bottom surgery. Those trans women. And same thing with them. These individuals. These. I mean, of course, those other type of women. That's another thing that draws a wrench in the pop French's plan anyway, when you think about it. Because those hermaphrodite women and those then those are trans women who keep their their thing behind between their legs. So that applies to them too. Their semen would be created every day. So what about them? They could help out to impregnate other women, the cisgender women anyway. So it's like those type of women can actually help out in some ways to multiply and be fruitful, just like a lot of these religious people would want anyway. So I don't understand what his concern is exactly. Like, what's the big deal? I know he said a few stupid comments about this and that. I mean, he actually criticized. But that's the thing. This is not constructive criticism. Constructive criticism and bashing aren't the same thing. So somehow... They're in the wrong for wanting to do this kind of thing. How are they wrong exactly? I just don't understand. How are they wrong exactly? I don't get this whatsoever. But anyway, so it just uh, this is a conversation I just want to talk about here for a moment. Of course, there's some women who intend to become surrogates out of uh, the direct uh, out of desperation, and uh, I don't know. It's out of desperation apparently, according to him, and is somehow abusing the process. As the Pope says, like, what are you talking about, mate? So it's their choice to do what they, if they want to do this. It. It's up to them and whatnot. I mean, you could always argue that the Catholic Church, like we were saying earlier, is that they always seem to be con condemned this kind of thing to begin with. Just compensation kind of a thing. You have to do it in the traditional way. So if anything that goes outside of the typical sex method, of course, it is deemed as a way to evil, of course, it should only be formed in the way that the reproduction that was documented in within the Bible. It should only do it that way. Otherwise, you, you view it as a bad person. So, again, that just seems like a form of control. All right, I'm just going to wrap it up here, folks. I'm going to open the time to wrap, wrap it up here. But basically, it, it's viewed as a bad. It's viewed as something wicked, of course. And it just doesn't make any sense. And you could view this, as, like I was saying earlier, you could view this as, a, an, as an extension of what we just said. Be fruitful and multiply. So, again, what's the problem? It, it could be just viewed as that. It could be viewed as this kind of a thing, I guess you would say. So, I, I don't understand what the issue is, really. So, I just, I'm just scratching my head here. Like, what's the problem? Like, what exactly is the problem here? Of course, I'm not going to get any answers because there is no problem. There's nothing wrong with this kind of a thing whatsoever. Uh, I'm just scratching my head. I just want to talk about this kind of thing because I just find it weird. I know this is going to be a lengthy video. I know my videos at times tend to be lengthy and, and all that. So I just want to discuss this because I just think it's asinine. You know, it's really asinine. Like, it's not even your business anyway. So why do you care? Of all, why do you, pe of all people, care anyway? I I don't understand. Like, why? Why do you care? So, like I was saying a moment ago, you can go to somebody's house at random during the day or night just to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to. What, what's next? You're going to have security cameras within the somebody's household? I mean, you're going to just monitor them on a computer or something? I don't know. It just seems like this just seems like a violation of their privacy, is what I'm saying. You're just going to be like a damn dictator and just kind of control what people want to do with their own lives, with their own bodies. And that's the thing. When you when you think about when the first thing that you are born, 
your body is the first thing. Your very own body that you have right now is the very thing that you own. That this is the first thing you ever own. And even then, the church wants to control what you can and can't do with your own body. That's ridiculous. That's really that's really ridiculous when you think about it. Who are you to tell what everybody else can do with their own bodies? That's weird. Anyway, just I, don't know, I kind of feel like I'm just rambling on at this point. I know I'm just rambling on this at this damn point. Holy shit! Just talking about something that's completely fucking stupid again. And that seems to be a like common thing on both of my channels, either on my second channel or on, or on this second, beyond the second channel and my first channel. Both of my channels, I tend to just talk about some some bullshit that makes no goddamn sense. Like, what the hell, people? Again, why why the fuck do you care? I don't know. I don't I don't get the shit. Anyway, yada yada yada, blah blah, whatever. It gets just fucking hell. This is so damn dumb. Yeah, be sure to check out my second channel, folks. And Elfers as well. The links for both channels, my second one and Elfers as well, will be posted down below in the description box below. So as always, thanks for watching and take care. The next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.